What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Playmaker Way, Way with the Playbook, and y'all read the title, man. This is the US 30 strategy I use to predict the movements and direction prices going every single day. Now, this is your first time on the channel. Welcome. I appreciate you giving this video a chance. Make sure you hit that bell and sub button because we don't just post weekly content like this, but we also post trade breakdowns, trade psychology videos, trading plan videos, as well as most importantly, we live stream and live trade every day, London session 3 m EST on this very same channel. So make sure to check that out. We also have a free signal free telegram. It's the first link in the description. This is how we did last month, October. We caught a total of 157,608 pips, 125,674 strictly with the members in the advanced place signal room. End of the month 32.5, giving us an 86% win rate. Now this is how we did last quarter. July, we went 34 wins, three losses. August, we took 45 wins, seven losses. And in September, we took 27 wins, four losses. Catching 105,389 pips July, 219,708 pips in August, and 16,634 pips in September. Giving us a total of 341,731 pips caught, 323,385 strictly with the members in the advanced play signal room. In the quarter, 106 wins, 14 losses, giving us an 88% win rate. Every trade posted has the date, the time the trade was posted, my personal entry, SL, TPs, how many people viewed or entered the trade, reactions, and of course those TPs getting hit. So make sure to go ahead and check that out. Now let's get straight into this video. And as you can see here, this is not clickbait. You can literally see how I'm entering basically almost at exactly the perfect entry and exiting at the exact perfect exit over and over day after day huge risk rewards this is one to three almost one to four this is a one to four this is a one and a half this is a one to three this is a one to two this is a one to three one to two so you see we're consistently catching the huge moves as well we're not catching little bounces we're catching the big moves and the big pumps and i'm going to show you exactly how you can do exactly this as well and before we get started this isn't just the us 30 strategy this works on anything with charts what i teach here is how to read the charts this works on gold currency pairs crypto stocks as you can see this is en we're using the same science same method to the madness this is ej same method to the madness and we're catching the same moves right so we're going to break this down in a few steps so make sure to watch to the very end of the video and one of the biggest issues i had when i first started to learn how to trade was you know i might have had a good strategy right i might know how to identify the trend i might know this i might know that but one of the things i really struggled with was knowing when to enter and exit a trade just like a lot of y'all sometimes you'll enter a trade it'll flip back and go in the opposite direction or sometimes it'll hit your stop loss and then shoot back in the direction you knew it was going to go they start chasing trades and this that the third this is one of the things that helped me minimize my losses but also take full advantage of every trade that i took so let's go ahead and break this down so step number one you need to identify the trend you need to identify the trend now if you do not understand how to identify the trend pause this video and watch the one i just popped up on the top left top right side of your screen because it's very important to understand what you're looking at because we make money based on what the charts are doing we also lose money based on what the charts are doing so we have to understand at all times what price is doing where it's going and why it's doing what it's doing so when you identify the trend and only go for buys when we're in the uptrend only go for sales when we're in a downtrend that is going to stop you from losing as much now let me explain how just like the title entails, uptrend means we're trending upwards. Downtrend means we're trending downwards. The moves up and uptrend are way bigger than the moves down. The moves down and the downtrend are way bigger than the moves up. So if we're going for buys and an uptrend or sells in the downtrend, that means that price is trending 60, 70, 80, 90% of the time in that direction. So if we're going for a buy, even if we don't enter off a key price level, which we're gonna be breaking down in a second, we still have a 60, 70, 80, 90% chance of price going in our favor versus going for a sell in the uptrend, which is gonna give us a 10, 20, 30% chance. And then on top of that, the move down, like we just talked about, is way smaller than the move up, like we could see with the US 30. So it's very important to not try to catch reversals, to follow the flow of price, and to go with the trend. The trend is your friend. I give this analogy all the time to my members and students. 
I used to, when I used to live in Cali, I used, to, I used to see the surfers in the water in the ocean all the time. And one thing I noticed is the surfers, they don't get excited and jump on their boards just because you saw a splash or a ripple on the surface of the water. No, what do they do? They sit there and they patiently wait. What are they waiting for? They're waiting for that perfect wave, AKA the perfect setup. And then once the surfer sees that perfect wave, the perfect setup, do they try to go against it? Do they try to beat the wave to where it's trying to go? No, they do the opposite. They stand on their boards, turn their back to the water and let the current push them the direction already had planned and in its course. That's what you want to do with trading. Because again, we do not control the charts. We do not control the markets. Only thing we control is when we enter a trade, exit a trade, and how much we're risking per trade. So now that we know we want to go with the flow of price, that's going to take us to the next step, which is enter buys off support levels, enter sales off resistance levels. So again, if you do not understand what support resistance is, pause this video, and watch the one that's popping up on your screen right now, because it's very important, again, to understand all this stuff, because we have a full understanding of everything we're looking at, everything we're doing, that's when things will start to make sense. You'll have a lot less stress while in trades and trading will become a lot smoother, easier and simpler for you. When you enter and exit off these levels, it's essentially like using a trampoline. So let's take a look here. We see it when price broke this level, it started bouncing, right? Just like when it hit this level, it bounced the opposite direction. When it hit this level, it's bouncing, right? So when you trade off these levels and on top of that, go with the flow of price, not only do you have the direction of price going in your favor, but you have this extra push and bounce and spring in your step when you take these trades. You see what I'm talking about? And we see this and there's levels all over the place, right? So actually, I think it'll be a lot easier to see if we do a quick bar replay. So let's do a quick bar replay so y'all can see what we're talking about here. Right, so you see how price is treating that level of support, retested, and how it bounced off that level, bounced off this level, and now it's trying to hold that level of support. You see how it reacts to these blue and gold lines? Each time it touches it, we see these reactions. So this is why you want to trade off these levels. And that brings us to step three. You want to exit off these levels as well. A strong support can be a strong resistance and a strong resistance can be a strong support. You see right here, price was treating as low as resistance, broke above it. Now what? It's treating it as a support. Well, it was treating as support. Now it's treating it back as a support. You see how that works, y'all? So when you go with the flow of price, you enter and exit off support resistance levels. That's literally going to help you increase your win rates and then also minimize your losses. Now, this comes the third step, the very, very, very important step, the final step for the video. And that is to wait for confirmations. You want to wait for confirmations. Confirmations are going to help you again, minimize your losses. A lot of y'all go for breakouts. You don't want to go for breakouts. You want to wait for price to show you that it's trying to hold and it's ready to hold the level as support. And here's a perfect example. Imagine we would have went for a buy here just because price broke this level. We could have potentially been at risk for hitting the stop loss because when it did the retest, it failed to hold that support. But then when it broke back above and then it did the retracement, it held that support. But again, you see how it rejected. So we could have had a stop loss get hit versus when we see the volume kick in, and then we see price holding that level and then showing it's trying to continue to push up and break the highs to the left, we have a higher chance of likelihood of price going in our favor. Because again, sometimes price might just hit that level and it won't be ready to break that level yet. We saw that example. We see that example a lot of times, like even right here, price broke this level, failed to hold that support, shot back up, held, pushed up, and then you know the move started to go the next day. So again, if you just wait for those extra confirmations and wait for the for price to show you what it's trying to do instead of trying to beat price to the chase and assume what it's going to do, you will win way more than you lose and it'll help you save yourself from taking unnecessary losses and risk. If y'all enjoyed this video, man, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below any questions, comments, concerns you may have. Make sure to hit that first link in the description during the free signal for your telegram. And if you're interested in learning how I identify these levels exactly myself or interested in the signal or my mentorships, go ahead and hit those links in the description. But let me show you a little bit what the details of the Advanced Play Signal Room is. The Advanced Play Signal Room, we trade Tokyo session exclusively with the members. We trade London session and then New York. Just like the Sunday chart analysis I drop in the free signal room, I drop one every day during New York session called the New York Price Watch List. This is where I go over the trades we took during Tokyo session, 
London session and possible sales going into New York. I don't just say we're looking for buys or looking for sales. I explain why we're looking for buys, why we're looking for sales. And then I take it a step further and go over key price points to look for entries and exits on. As you can see here, I call this signal. You see I'm walking y'all through what's going on with the trades we're in. I'm giving y'all updates to what I talked about in the New York price watch list. And then of course you see me showing y'all screenshots to visually show y'all what's going on behind the scenes or what I see on my end behind the scenes. All right, we also have exclusive live streams that we go live during New York news events at least twice a week. And just like the London session lives, if you missed the live, they're recorded and posted in here so you can watch them when you get a chance. You have access to over 500 videos of daily chart analysis and weekly live streams. And in fact, you have access to even the ones last year in 2022. Then there's also the pinned messages like the account size key, the student and member group chat, and much more. Now, I also have the course, of course. The course doesn't just teach you my trading strategy. It also teaches you how to read the charts because that's what I teach y'all. Y'all saw I had no indicators, no trend lines. It's simply just market flow and trading and entering and exiting off key price levels. Now, all the stuff that I just went over, you get access to all that stuff in the course channel. So that way, you not only do you have the step-by-step -step playbook of how to look and read any chart at all times, but you have ongoing chart analysis, ongoing education for life. Now I also have one-on-one -on -one sessions. One-on-one -on -one sessions also comes with access to the advanced play signal room and the student member group chat. That way you can earn while you learn, but then you also get two sessions a week that are recorded an hour long, but you also get two sessions a week that are recorded in an hour long and they're sent to you the same day. Those are yours to keep. Those are yours to keep for life. So if you're interested in that, hit those links in the description. If y'all want to contact me directly, y'all can DM me on Instagram at playmaker underscore way. Also make sure to follow me on there and TikTok underscore playmaker way underscore. I post daily on both pages. And I'll see y'all next time I'm live or next time I post a video. Peace. We out.